YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and we are back in Total War Rome 2, where I'm going to show you some more replays. This one's actually, I think, the first um, battle that I got to play as one of the uh, Pirates and Raiders factions online, so I played, well, technically not, because the Gatay were in the free update, but you know what I mean. So I decided to play Gatay versus Odrissian Kingdom, which meant that I knew I'd be coming up against some pretty severely strong infantry. And I decided to bring some bowmen and quite a few horse bowmen because of this, hoping to picket them uh, while my own infantry, you know, is maybe able to hold them. But uh, one thing I've been struggling with recently is I haven't played the game as much as I need to, so it's always a challenge for me to micromanage my troops properly. But we'll see. Let's see, so yeah, here's my Gate army, and then my opponent um, brings a ton of Falksmen and Thracian warriors. So he's got two Thracian nobles and I think four... Thracian warriors. He didn't tank up on all Thracian nobles, and to be quite honest, it's not necessary for him to do so. If you're going against formation attack units, uh, it might be smarter to bring more Thracian nobles, but against another barbarian faction, I think you'd... well, actually, he's got three Thracian nobles. That's that's plenty. That'll, that'll get the job done. Third one popped up here. Let's see. He's got four Thracian horsemen, looks like. A couple of Thracian skirmishers. And then I have uh, I think two of the bowmen, and then I've got a Thracian, or uh, yeah, a noble horseman and a spear horseman on each flank. My main line is three spears up front to protect against a cavalry charge, and then my uh, my infantry line here is three noble swords. These guys have a lot of defense. They're going to get cut down by uh, by Thracian warriors, but my idea was that I, if I could at least disrupt their charge and hold them down, my bowmen might be able to finish the job along with my horsemen. So I'm going to start trying to do some... Uh, harassment here. Bring up my two bow cav on this flank and lure the enemy cav away from the main lines. Not too worried about Thracian horsemen. And then he sees the cavalry that I have waiting in the woods. But uh, I'm still just trying to continue to lure his men into a trap. And I'm using my, my bow horsemen to lure him away uh, while my other heavier horsemen get around his flank there. And I'm hoping to get a rear charge into his uh, Thracian nobles before the battle begins to see if that can help me. While I've got spears to help protect my um, my archers back here, it's definitely a risk because his cavalry is maneuverable and it's always kind of hard to stop that. But right here, I'm going to get what I want, which is a charge into the back of his Thracian nobles unopposed. So we'll see how that goes. And it's a pretty good charge, I guess. <laughs> Not really. Even a rear charge only got 10 kills, so felt like that could have gone better. Huh, wasn't near as effective as I'd hoped it would be. And at this point, there's no kiting away, so I'm going to go ahead and, and charge. Kind of not exactly what I want, but it's going to be what I get. And of course, my men are going to take heavy losses on a charge to Falx units, but my men dealt heavy losses as well because of their heavy weight and armor. So against the cheaper Falksmen, uh, of course my guys cost a lot, so I would expect that they should do okay. But they did take heavy losses, even though they're going to gain a quick victory there. And my opponent's got more infantry pushing through, so I'm, I'm in trouble. My infantry did fine, but I don't have much of it. And I've got to be able to keep my bowmen safe for long enough to cause some damage. And it's taking longer than I'd like, because these uh, Thracian nobles are armored. But with some concentrated fire, I will be able to pick away at them. But here's the problem. He's now got cavalry back here. A noble cavalry at that. And it's going to be hard for me to stop. But I'll do my best. Throw my spears in its way. I should have used cavalry counter tactics right there. Would have given me a few more kills. So I'm going to have to try and get my, um, get my bowmen away. But I'm being pressured by infantry and cavalry. So this is going to become very difficult. And on the flanks... Um, his more numerous cav, with the support of some of his infantry, is wrapping up most of my own cavalry. Though I am getting his Thracian skirmishers real quick. So I'm just going to try and pin down his general, which is in the Thracian noble there. And again, having a hard time getting away from his cav, I'm going to have to bring in more spears. So I am going to lose some uh, some bowmen here, but I'm trying to close the, uh, close the vice here on his cav with some of my spearmen. But this is challenging and then he's got a Thracian horseman free over here so my bows are pretty much going to eat it which stinks they haven't had a chance to have any real effect on the battle yet I do still have my uh, bow horsemen the thing is though is that they have a limited amount of ammo and I've already spent quite a bit of it um, on these two units at least killing one of his Thracian horsemen so his infantry does break me uh, down the center 
And basically all I have left at this point is a bow horseman to help me out, because he's taking out all of my foot skirmishers. And his main infantry block here is going to keep cutting its way through my spearmen. Uh, you can see my morale wavering, and understandably so, having, you know, uh, units like that up against me. So he's going to keep using his horsemen to run down my foot skirmishers. That's a good plan. There's really nothing I can do about his horsemen at the moment other than use my own bow cavalry. So it'll come down to a late game engagement here with bow cav. But uh, I know you can't see it in the replay, but in this, uh, in this particular sense, my bow cavalry doesn't have a whole ton of ammunition left. Um, not enough to shoot down this entire blob of infantry. If it stayed in a blob, possibly, but <laughs> my opponent's not going to keep it in a blob, that's for sure. And uh, the other problem I'm going to have shooting down his infantry is the fact that he's got his, his cavalry chasing me. So I'm going to have to take them out of the fight first. And these, these Thracian horsemen won't be too bad for my bow, or bow horsemen to kill. But again, all this ammo that I have to spend on them means that there's more and more uh, of his infantry left. Plus, he could just hide in this scrub. My opponent doesn't do so, but he, he can just hide in this scrub, and there's nothing my arrows will do to his infantry. So if you're going to come with a bow horseman in late game, it's not a bad plan, but you need to have cavalry left to support them because that makes this a dangerous combination. If I had these bow horsemen plus a few heavy melee cav left, my opponent would be in serious trouble here because his infantry wouldn't have much way to deal with what I had left. You can see that some of his units do rout here, routed another Thracian noble. And his cavalry can't catch me. I can continue to rain fire on them, and this Thracian horseman's gonna rout too. So again, bow horsemen doing a great job. They just don't have any support. And without that support, there's really very little that they can do to to put an end to this. So my opponent just kind of needs to keep doing what he is doing, which is wait it out, and eventually this will flow in his favor. But uh, yeah, I know I need to get rid of some of his infantry, so I'm going to try and do so, and he's sick of chasing me with his cavalry. He, he'll he never catch me with it. But at this point, uh, I mean, again, he has no worry. I just don't have enough ammo to do all the damage that I need to, and his horsemen are staying behind his infantry which is a good idea, otherwise I could shoot these guys from behind. He definitely wants to keep his cavalry behind his infantry. Plus he could just turn his infantry. But yeah, heavy shot, point blank range into Thracian nobles. So it's definitely um, definitely the right way to use my horsemen, but again, just not enough ammo. So I'll let you all see this, this gruesome punishment close up. Even the strongest can be killed by missiles, but if your missiles don't have enough ammo or proper support, then they uh, they can ride it out, basically. So yeah. He's getting sick of watching his men get hammered on, and he doesn't know how much ammo I have, of course, so he's obviously going to want to do something about this, but uh, my ammo is running dangerously, dangerously low right now. My spear warriors did a pretty good job doing all they could out here, um, but eventually got wrapped up by uh, mercenary Falx units. And let's see... I think all I have left at this point is these two horse archers. I thought I had a third horse archer. I guess I don't. But yeah, I, I, I'm out of ammo. Like, completely out of ammo at this point. So, well, I say that. This one apparently had a couple of shots left. So I came in for a glory charge. My men are certainly going to die. There's no way that my horse archers can hope to affect any, any real punishment on this infantry, but I'm not going to make my opponent chase me while I don't have ammo. I fired what I had, and that means that it's pretty much going to be game over for me. So my opponent did a good job here of just uh, getting to the late game with more tools than I did. If I would have paid more attention to my cavalry, perhaps that could have been a better, um, a better engagement. Like, for, for instance, if I would have kept my cavalry back closer to my spears, then he would have had to try and um, have a harder time taking care of them. His infantry, of course, would have cut through mine, but I got quite a few kills with some of my infantry, so it ended up being okay. Like, these noble swords got quite a few kills, so did these. This one did pretty poorly. But if it would have given my foot skirmishers more time to fire by keeping my cavalry back, um, I think it would have been worth it. Whereas I gave his cheaper Thracian horsemen pretty much the run of the field. And then he also had these, these two Thracian royal cavalry here. So, yeah. Good game to my opponent. It was an interesting learning experience, so... When, he, when I brought the Gate here, I brought these foot skirmishers, which is fine. I just didn't really uh, use them properly because I didn't protect them properly. 
So I should have found a better way to set up my army in order to protect these guys. Um, and I think it would have worked out a little bit better for me. But in any case, Heir of Carthage, signing off for now. Hope you all enjoyed it.